Test one two three. Test one two three. Test test one two three. Looks like it's working. Cool. Hi, my name is Chicho, and I'd like to welcome you to series four of the language of mathematics. Now, what we're going to do right now is do a little introduction to this series um, because there's a fair bit of stuff that we're going to cover in this series. And this series is extremely important because what we're going to do with this series is take the previous uh, four series that we've done, Series 1, Series 2, Series 3A and 3B, and what we're going to do is take a look at how we can convert that, how we can use that information in the real world, right? So we're going to acquire the tools that we need to be able to use math in real life, right? And there's, there's three things we're going to talk about, okay? One of them is units and ratios. That's going to be, you know, a section on its own. One of them is going to be, gra you know, talking about graphs and functions. And another one is going to be a little bit more on zero and infinity, okay? So let me lay this out and we'll talk a little bit about what each one's going to contain. Okay, hopefully that comes out, you can read this, it's a little bit far away, but uh, that's okay. Um, this says units and ratios, the other one is graphs and functions, f of x, and zero and infinity. And this is what we're going to try to cover in series four, okay. The most important part, well they're all important, but the largest thing we're going to focus on, and we're going to beat this thing to a pulp, okay, is units and ratios. The reason for this is, is because Units and ratios is basically the foundation uh, of everything that our system is set up on, everything that our civilization is set up on, everything that society is set up on. Okay, units is basically um, just talking about what we are talking about, right? In what may, may it be economics, may it be politics, may it be you know. Uh, buying food, may it be measuring things, may it be for equality, sustainability. It's, it's, it's basically the, the foundation of where we started to use mathematics in the real world, where we began to apply mathematics in the real world, which is giving a quantity to a specific unit, to a specific something, right? And ratios is basically us comparing two things, right? You know, two hours of work for this much money, two apples for this many, you know, this much money or th this many other fruit, you know, bar barter system, uh, this amount of time for this much distance, um, you know, th this stock for this price, uh, this work for, for, for this job, whatever, whatever you want to think about it, this is this is basically the foundation of us, the beginning of us being able to use mathematics in the real world in our present system. Okay, mm -hmm. units and ratios. The, I don't know if you would call it the most important section that we've, you know, we're tackling or we have tackled. But it is the most useful. It is the most useful section that you're going to deal with or we're going to deal with because you're going to use this directly in your life. And even if you know you've been using it or not, you have been using it. Every time you go to a store to buy something, when, you know, it may be a piece of gum, may it be film, may it be buying a ticket to go see a movie, you're using this, right? You're giving a certain amount of money, a unit of something for receiving something, a unit of something else, okay? The other section that we're going to talk about is graphs and functions. And graphs and functions is, you know, we got our hands really dirty with uh, uh, talking about functions and how to break down functions and, you know, dealing with polynomials and what polynomials are. But we really haven't talked about what functions are, right? And, you know, we looked at some graphs in series 3A and 3B, but we really didn't talk about how to look at graphs and what graphs mean and what types of graphs there are. So what we're going to do is take a serious step back and talk about graphs and functions, define functions and talk about how we go, go about reading graphs, different types of graphs. And this is super important because uh, we're visual beings, right? So when we talk about units, when we talk about data, when we talk about uh, you know, numbers, right? 
it's easier for us to process that information when it's put in graph form. And majority of the graphs that we deal with, that our society is based on, that we, we do models for, are functions, right? For every input, there is a specific output. Okay, and we're going to talk about this. So we're going to step back and you know take a look at how we read graphs and what functions are and what type of functions we may have uh, coming our way when when dealing with things. Okay, the other section we're going to talk about is zero and infinity. And zero and infinity, I did one video in series one. I think it was you know in the first five videos we did, uh, just talking about you know what's what it means in in the most simplistic form of dividing something by zero or dividing something by an extremely large number in infinity, right? So we're going to expand on this, and this section, you know, it's. It's, uh, it, it, it's going to take us a long time to deal with this. And we started, Series 1 had one video on this, which is basically the, the most simplistic form of a limit, right? And, uh, you know, there's one video you could watch of this and take it with a grain of salt, but we're going to expand on this concept, zero infinity. And this, this section here is going to stay with us all the way uh, to the end of, um, you know, what my plans are for the language of mathematics and math in real life, which is doing an introductory course in calculus. And when we, when we get to calculus, we'll explore this to where I understand it, okay? And it's going to continuously come up in every other section that we do, in every other series that we do. So zero infinity, we're going to talk about it a little bit, and it's going to be more uh, philosophical than uh, mathematical, okay? And One thing to keep in mind is there's going to be prerequisites for this. For this section, I'm going to tell you, let you know when we do the full introduction for this unit, uh, for this section, of what vid videos you need to watch or you need to have a good grasp of before looking at this, okay? Same with this. I'm going to let you know what you need to know before this. And zero infinity, well, uh, you really don't need to know much. There's only one video you can take a look at. But there's uh, the real number set video that we did at the beginning, which is the you know, foundation, the basis of you know, the way we laid out mathematics for us right uh, what numbers are and uh, it's a pretty good idea for you to get to know that as well but we'll talk about talk a lot more about these later okay so uh, so that's what we're gonna cover for series four uh, I hope uh, I hope you like uh, I personally excited to, uh, to deal with this There's a fair bit of stuff I've laid out and you know we'll try to put it together and present it in the proper order so it all makes sense and keep in mind that all of these things are connected right these zero and infinity is basically uh, showing us where our pitfalls are for our functions our functions that we've graphed that we're trying to um, model Model, understand or visually present the data that we've collected the units that we're talking about you know when we're comparing two things how how function moves right how one thing relates to another so all these three things are related we're just going to tackle them separately and when we're you know gotten to a nice place we're going to connect them all up and see how they relate to each other okay and again this is probably going to take uh, longer than one uh, one torrent uh, to do so series 4 is most likely going to be broken up just like series 3 was so there's going to be most likely series 4a series 4b and possibly series 4c depending on how well we can put everything together and mesh everything together and you know how long we have uh, with, the, with the weather and uh, how, how much work we can get done uh, in the amount of time that we have okay and uh, that's about it I guess uh, glad to be back uh, hope you're um, uh, you're having a good time hope you're enjoying your summer of 2011 and uh, you know getting excited to delve into this and uh, you know play around with it and see what we come up with okay that's it for now I guess I'll see you guys in the next videos Now, before we get started, uh, just a couple of couple of notes. Okay, uh, in the last few years, people have said that the sound quality for um, for the video sometimes it's not very good because there's been a lot of wind and a lot of traffic, a lot of noise. Um, and the video quality, well, I'm um, functioning with a little little camera that I bought like five years ago. Uh, so I've upgraded my system. 
and I'm going to show you what I got. Okay, well, I'm going to show you one part of what I got, which is the voice thing. Okay, now because people have been saying, um, you know, the sound hasn't been coming out well, I looked into it and I, you know, talked about it with a friend of mine that uh, we did the remainder. Uh, a remainder theorem video, one of the last videos we did for Series 3B, and that came out uh, really well. And I learned a lot uh, doing that with someone else that you know knows their knows their stuff, knows their camera work, and how to deal with sound and how to edit. So um, I went out and uh, I bought the lowest, uh, you know, the best system I could afford, which is one of the lowest uh, uh, lowest systems I could get. Okay, uh, so I ended up. So I ended up going and getting, um, you know, a little uh, digital recorder and uh, some kind of uh, mic system, semi-professional, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm, you know, this way I can hook this up and, you know, and hopefully the sound, you know, when I go into the editing, I can overlay the things together. And even when I'm far away, you should be able to hear me. Okay. So I'm going to set this up right now, and uh, we'll see what it sounds like. Okay. There's a lot of things to take care of. You've got to turn this on, turn that on, do this, do this, put, a, put the things in the right uh, folders and whatnot. But uh, uh, hopefully it'll all work out. So turn this on, do a little... Uh, actually, let's lift this up. So the deal is, bring this guy up. And uh, here's a little mic. Like, it's got a little hook. So I'm going to set this up here. I did a little test run uh, uh, a few days ago and uh, I think it should all work out fine. Uh, hope so, anyway. Now I'm going to be moving around a lot, so hopefully there isn't too much uh, uh, scratchy sound coming up. Okay. Uh, and that thing's on, and what we're going to do is press uh, record, and uh, hopefully when I go into the editing, uh, the voice, uh, this voice that you're, gonna, you're hearing, uh, and by the way, this is an upgraded camera as well, uh, but I'll talk about that as soon as we get the voice set, okay? So, press record, and um, this thing seems like it's recording, and uh, hello, hello, see the bar going across? So this thing's pretty much set up, I'm just going to put it on hold, so everything's turned on, this thing goes in my pocket, so... We're all set up with the sound quality, and I hope uh, in the editing right now, the sound is coming out a lot sharper and a lot better. And um, so we've gotten the sound taken care of. As far as the video quality goes, uh, when I started this project about five years ago, 2007, I guess, or four years ago, um, I, you know, I could only afford a certain level of camera, which was basically the lowest, uh, lowest end camera that they could, uh, they could, they offered, which was, you know, I was almost all the videos um, from the previous four years that we've done for the language of mathematics have been shot with this other camera that I'm going to show you. And I'm, uh, the reason I'm doing this is I want to give credit where credit is due, and a lot of people have been asking me, you know, what camera it is that I'm, I've been making the videos with, not just the math videos, but other things as well. Um, and again, it, it was uh, when I bought this camera. When I bought this camera, um, it, at the time it cost me, you know, three hundred sixty dollars, uh, and that was in two thousand and seven. That was a lot of money for me, and it's still a lot, a lot of money for me. But uh, it served us well, and I really want to give credit where credit is due, because uh, I'm going to be keeping this thing for a while. Now, this camera, it's uh, it's a Canon ZR eight hundred, and you know, it recorded, uh, it records, uh, you know, little mini mini DVs uh, tapes that I've been, uh, you know. That I've been recording on, so I got a lot of these things from the last four years, holding a lot of mathematics. Um, most of the stuff, well, the majority of the stuff I used, uh, there was some stuff I didn't use because either the sound didn't come out well or the video quality wasn't that good. Okay, so just credit where credit is due, and hopefully in the next, uh, you know, whatever time we're going to end up using this other camera with, and, it, and if it serves us well, uh, you know, I'll do another one, uh, come out in front of a, you know better grade system and show you what the camera is that we're shooting on shooting in right now and so that's where we are and uh, we got nice sound now so let's start the mathematics and, um, and talk about uh, what we're going to do in this series okay